when I got to Georgia, what happened was that there was a dream that had reemerged. And that dream was that behind my great grandmother's house, there was a lake of blood, and there was a snake and an alligator that crawled into that lake. Right away, that signified to me that my great grandmother, which has passed, she was warning me that in Florida, where the alligators are, there was going to be a snake that was going to betray me like Judas mm. and stab me in my back and leave me in a pool of blood the lake. That's what came into my mind once that dream had emerged in my, in my mind. I was in Georgia when that happened. So I said, this must be God warning me not to go into Florida because things are, things are, things are going to happen this way. So I said, you know what? To go to Florida from New York is only a thousand miles. I said, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to California. That's 3,000 miles. You see what I'm saying? So I started walking to California. But what I was supposed to do was, I was supposed to go into Florida, no matter what, because no weapon formed against me shall Chef prosper. Oscar. And Amen. God was the one that instructed me to go to Florida. But instead, I took my own, I made my own conscious decision to go elsewhere. I paid for that. Mm. So negativity, he beat me again. The first time he took my bicycle. The second time, he put a dream. He sugar-coated the dream. He sugar-coated he sugar the dream. That's what he did. He made it seem like if it was, like if it was in, my, in my best interest, like the dream was in my best interest.